Oh, <laughs> hi, Rich Keeble here, and welcome to Rich Runs dot dot dot. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back to my channel. So if you've watched my last few videos, you will know that I started a 15-week marathon training plan um, published by Ben Parks. Now, the bad news is I have officially decided to sack off Ben Parks' is, um, sack off Ben Parks' training plan simply because I'm too far behind with the mileage because of my uh, Achilles-related injury, which is a bit of a shame. It's, it's of no... Um, it's no fault of Ben Parks himself, uh, but unfortunately that's the way it is. Now, what I have decided to do is I've decided to do one of the, well, in fact, specifically the advanced Manchester Marathon plan that they sent through themselves uh, the other day, uh, which is a 12-week one which started uh, this week just gone. Or last week, if you prefer. Yeah, let's just have a little look at uh, what I was planning on doing. Yeah, the Ben Parks, he's got a lovely website and he's got all these plans. And uh, yeah, I was doing the level four advanced plan uh, to go for a time of under three and a quarter hours. And um, at the time, my fitness was uh, last year, just before when I, got, when I did my sub- 20 minute 5k first week of his plan is about 61 kilometers with a peak week of 103 that's a little bit jaw dropping as far as i'm concerned but i thought well you know what let's push myself but yeah i've done a fraction of that having taken the best part of four weeks off for my um achilles related issues i'm nowhere near that so i wasn't sure what to do really but anyway yeah that they sent through these um these 12 week plans and uh what have we got here? What have we got here? So yeah, the advanced plan um, is supposedly for people going for sub three to three and a half. So I thought, well, that's doable. And um, what what is slightly annoying about this plan is that it's all in time. It's not in actual mileage. I mean, that, that has its benefits. But what I like about the Ben Parks plan is that he has, firstly, he has it in miles and kilometres. But it's like you've got, okay, today's a 10K run, tomorrow's an 8K run, 20K run, you know, with a weekly total of 60K or whatever. I, I quite like to know where I am uh, exactly on the numbers. Uh, when I did my first marathon, I followed the Garmin Intermediate Plan, and that was all just time on feet, which I thought at the time I thought, oh, great, I'm going out for a 40-minute run, doesn't matter what the mileage is. But, um, yeah, a year on, I do quite like to know what the numbers are. So I've started this Manchester, let's just have a look here on the old multi-camera action here. So uh, I've started this plan here, and yeah, my first week, week commencing 23rd of January. First of all, I mean, I'm not sure why my printer has put all these white lines all over the place. I can't really blame um, the creators of this plan for that. I, I think that is more of a technical issue with the printer. Um, but there we go. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of changing around here. So the first, the first day was a fifty-minute run. So I did eight kilometres in that. I actually, I actually moved it to the, the Tuesday, and I uh, didn't do that strength and conditioning. Uh, then I stuck with the the run on the Wednesday, which is 40, 40 minutes. I did that pretty easy pace, six and a half kilometres. It was. We'll come back to this tempo run in a minute, which I moved to Friday. Um, and then I did a long run on the Saturday, uh, hour and 40, it rounded up to 16.1 kilometres or 10 miles. Sorry, I switched that to the Sunday and yes, I sacked off the strength and conditioning yet again. So I, I need to get into that. Um, something I've been annoyed at already with this plan is the slight ambiguity. So you see here, we've got a, t a tempo run here. Now, I originally thought maybe I won't do the tempo run, I'll just keep it easy. Don't want to risk any issues with the heel. But then I thought, you know what, let's just do it. You've got you to get out there. So um, 20 minutes tempo equals one minute at tempo pace and one minute easy pace. Now, does that mean this is a 20 minute tempo run consisting of one minute at tempo, one minute easy? So 10 lots of that. So we end up doing 10 minutes at tempo and 10 minutes easy. Or is it 20 minutes tempo? So you're doing basically 20 minutes at tempo 
and then 20 minutes at easy, so it's a 40 minute run. It's not clear, is it? And I, you know, I like things to be clear. I like to be spoon fed. You know, Ben Parks, he, he, he's got it written down every time. It's like, oh yeah, 10 minutes easy, warm up, then 20 minutes, blah, blah, blah. If you're busy, you come home, you do it, you program it and you watch, you don't have to worry about it. But this, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm having to think. I don't want to have to think. You know, there's no mention of warm ups or cool downs on there. I mean, it's probably on another page somewhere, but you know. I need to be handheld. Anyway, uh, it's a bit ambiguous. Uh, if you actually look for the following week, it gives you a gist as to how they actually lay this out. So it says 30 minutes tempo, which consists of uh, 10 minutes easy, 10 minutes tempo, then five easy, five tempo. That's what they're calling a 30 minute tempo run. So that makes it clearer. It suggests that it's a 20 minute tempo run, but yeah, a 20 minute run, half of it at effort and, and the rest recover. That's actually what I did. I did a 10 minute warm up and a 10 minute cool down. It's a 40 minute run anyway. But you know, I, I, I've said this, I've made this point. I think you get what I'm saying. It's not clear. So my previous sort of tempo threshold pace was about four, 14 minutes per kilometer. That's what I was doing before I took the break. And um, yeah, I could maintain that for, for a while, but I thought, well, let's try and, you know, a minute on off, let's see if I can get there. And I found it a bit of a struggle at first, but it's funny, isn't it? You go from not being able to get anywhere near it to then having to sort of consciously slow down. So um, yeah, my legs sort of quickly remembered what it's like to turn over that quick. But um, I did wonder afterwards, maybe I'd gone a bit too much too soon. But luckily, um, yeah, so I did that on the Friday and I, I took Saturday as a rest day and did the long run on the Sunday. And that felt okay. So I suppose the takeaway here is that I couldn't do the plan I wanted to do, but I have managed to do a 30, what was it, 37-ish, kilometre week which is a, the biggest week I've done in quite a while so I'm actually pretty happy about that maybe the three hour 15 is not doable anymore for the marathon I was aiming to get round, sort of get close to my um, good for age time you see see if I can actually get into the London Marathon through that route but yeah I think four minutes 15 is maybe a little bit beyond me at the moment but you never know in, uh, in in another 11 weeks time. I think maybe 4.30 pace might be doable or certainly under five. I'll be, I'll be very happy to get under three and a half hours, knocking 25 minutes off my previous marathon time of 3.53. We'll see how we go. But anyway, there we go. So that's, you know, we, we started off thinking this was a little bit negative, but actually we've kind of ended on a positive, haven't we? Uh, and that's good. We've we've sort of gone glass half empty to glass half full. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my Manchester Marathon training journey. Uh, yeah. See you later. I've 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 better I've, I've taken some melatonin, so uh, I'm going to go to bed. So see you later. Thank you. Goodbye.